I'll show you. I'll teach you a lesson. Here I come. You all ready for this?
Brace yourself! Oh, it's for my lord.
Here I come!
here I come! Here I go! Here I come! Do my best. I'll do my best.
me. Hey! <laughs> 
Who's that? Some strange human is coming this way. Hey, that's... Ha! Ah, I didn't think you'd make it back on your own, my final weapon girl, Desko! <laughs> Daddy! Hey, what did you just call him? He's my dad! Yes, Desko knows. That's why you're Desko's big sister. Whoa! Hey! What's the matter, lass? You finally gone mad? Lord, please excuse my audacity. However, this lass's insanity didn't just start right now. What the? Huh? My dad really created Desko? The final boss to destroy all humans? This is my dream! I can't believe my father turned out to be an enemy! What kind of space war story is this? Lass, what kind of man is your father exactly? If he created Desko, then he can't be just an ordinary human. Daddy is one of the most intelligent people in the world. His job title is Mad Scientist. Mad? Is that his official job title? What the hell are you doing, Dad? Have you teamed up with that Nemo guy? Are you trying to destroy everyone? Huh? Oh, I saw there was a girl wearing a weird hat. I didn't know that girl was you, Fuka. Huh? You just noticed me? I'm your daughter! Fuka, what are you doing here? I thought you went to hell. What? How can you say that about your own daughter? Well, you're not the heaven type, you know. Ugh, what the hell's your problem? Plus, I'm not even dead. Are you telling me that I died? Yep. You died. You definitely died. Ha! Now you've got a scientist backing it up. Finally, your death has been proven a fact. Now, lass, do you remember your promise? Now you must go through my intensive training to become a Prinny. Prinny rule number one. You shall always include the word dude in every line you say. No! This is a dream! This is all some kind of misunderstanding. My dad would never help a villain destroy humans. So this can't be real.
Strong, Fuka. Daddy's very proud of you. Well, I'm disappointed in you. How could you become an evil scientist? What are you saying, Fuka? There's no good or evil in science. It's only what we humans make it out to be. You can't fool me. You made Desco, the bio suits, the clones. You created all of them. That's right. What do you think? Weren't they great? Although, they may need improvements, given that they were defeated by demons who lack access to fear energy. Young man, just out of scientific curiosity, <laughs> where is all of your great power coming from? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Shut up! What, sardines again? Just stay out of this for now, will ya? Ah! You look busy, Valva Torres, but the party has just begun. Shall we start the main event? Dr. Kazumatsuri, could you please activate it now? Sure thing. Everything should be ready. I've been sending their battle data to it as we went, so it should be ready to go at any time. Of course, Doctor. My time and effort spent bringing you here has been well worth it for your abilities. Nah, it's the amount of funding you offer that helped me with my research. We both know that we're just using each other. There's no need for you to flatter me. You're all business, huh, Doctor? That's what I like about you. Anyway, it's all you now. Dad, why the hell did you team up with that guy? What is your research all about? I can't tell you yet, but you'll find out soon enough. Like father, like daughter, he's unpredictable. He's... he's not my dad! He's never done a single thing for me that's even remotely father-like! So, you had no idea what kind of research your father was doing? I knew it was something related to the military, but I didn't think it was to destroy everyone. Looks like you've been through a lot, too. I think I understand now why you act so weird. Like you have a personality disorder. What part of me is weird? And don't pity me, fool. In any event, everything worked out in the end. Now it's been proven that you and Desco are half-sisters. That's what it seems like. Whether that's good or bad. Big sis. Sorry, Desco. You were created, and then they treated you as a final boss, or destructive weapon, or whatever. It must have been hard. I'm so sorry that you had to go through all of that because of Dad. It 
It's okay. Please don't worry about Desco, Big Sis. Desco is okay. All Desco wants is for Big Sis to approve of her as your little sister. Sure. Looks like I have no choice but to approve of you as my little sister. At least until I wake up from this dream. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Miss Desco. Anyway, is Fuga still gonna keep saying that this is just her dream? Huh? Hey, I didn't get to find out anything about who attacked me. Your father should know that, right? He made it pretty clear that you're dead. I said I'm not dead! I'm sure we'll find out the truth during the upcoming main event. Oh, what makes you so sure? Because that's the most dramatic way to reveal this truth. Oh, I see. You're rather convincing for some reason. Human. Why don't you just start the main event already? You're so impatient. Do you know that the final moments of your lives are just around the corner? Well, see ya. Doctor, it's all you now. Dad! What are you gonna do to us now? You might not know this about me, but I'm kind of a movie fanatic. Remember that one about the dinosaur clones? Well, that movie inspired me to create demon clones. And this time, I collected only the highest quality cells from those clones to create this one. The ultimate final weapon! The true final boss! The true final boss? Finally, the time has come. Desco will meet her! So you know who it is? The true final boss? Yes, she is the completed form of the final weapon that defeated Desco and cast her into Hades. The final weapon, Desco, perfect version. Her name is Des X. So she is the main event? The true final boss? She looks a lot like Miss Desco. A lot? The only thing different about her is the color! Was that a cost-cutting tactic by the creator? Explain this to us, lass. Don't ask me! Go ask my dad if you really want to know! Shut up, scum! You! How dare you call my lord scum, being that you are a mere man-made monster? What's wrong with calling scum scum? I am the most powerful true final boss, Lady Desex! Des... X... <laughs> well, well, what a surprise. I didn't know who to expect, but I didn't think I was gonna see two of the punks I killed before. Two? Why do you keep getting in my way? Do you want to be killed again? Huh? Why is that? Desco? Fuka? <gasps> oh, so it was you! You were the one who attacked me! That's right. I killed you with my own hands. That's two witnesses now, including your father. And this time, it's the killer herself! Last, it's been proven already! You are already dead! No, I am not! See? I'm here! I'm alive! Look! 
So you haven't realized it, huh? How oh, annoying. Okay, well, I'll just have to kill you over and over again until you accept it! <laughs> Be my guest. Shut up! I am totally not dead! And this is just my dream, so it's impossible for me to die! That's right! Plus, Big Sis has Desco, and Desco will not let Big Sis die! Ha! <laughs> Listen to you, Desco. Have you forgotten how you were killed so pitifully after trying to keep up with my functionality? Never! That memory is embedded inside Desco's memory chip! But Desco isn't the same Desco you faced back then! Desco will not lose! Are you saying you've been training in Hades or something? Give me a break. <laughs> You're kidding, right? You're just a prototype. A test model they created in the process of completing me. No matter how much stronger you've gotten, there's not even a 1% chance for you to defeat me. Th that's... That's not true. Desco is my little sister. Me, who's gonna be the ruler of Earth, and Desco, who's gonna be the strongest final boss. There is no way this golden and gorgeous duo will lose to you. Big Sis. Oh, what are you talking about? You're just a ghost, a dead human. Whatever, I'll just smash you, along with your soul, so you'll never be able to talk to me like that again. I won't let that happen. I'm not going to allow any more of this autocratic crap by humans. If the entire human world becomes evil, Celestia will be out of business. For our future profits, I back Miss Desco up entirely. And for free. For now. All is for my lord. I will kill whoever stands in my lord's path to supremacy. Jeez, none of you can just admit that you want to help me and Desco? Everyone, Desco is so happy! Desco is feeling more energized. This must be the power of friendship. This is a great lesson for a final boss. Mm-hmm. Finally, this is starting to feel like the main event. Everyone! Let's win this battle for Desco and the Lass! Know your place, scum! I'll kill all of you if that is what you wish! Oh! 
Doubt you two would have won that battle on your own. We helped you win, you know? <sighs> that was a lot of trouble. Sure, true final bosses are a lot of trouble, I suppose. No, I'm talking about the lass's father for creating that thing. He created a final boss to destroy the human world. Does he hate humans as well? He was a weirdo to begin with, but I didn't think he wanted to destroy everyone. Maybe he just went crazy after Mom died. You don't know anything. You have no idea. You don't know a thing about your own father. His thoughts and motivation, nor the reason why he became one of the villains. What's your problem? Why are you yelling at me? You don't know anything. Just because you're his daughter, you expect that you can act however you want and still be loved. In comparison, Desko and I are only artificial beings. We'll never be his real daughters, no matter how much we want to be. So, what's your point? Shh, Miss Fuka. Just listen to what she has to say. She might just be... I can't be his real daughter. I knew that from the start. But I still envied you. I hated you so much. So I killed you, to make you disappear from this world! But you still had the nerve to come back afterwards! You're still trying to have Daddy all to yourself! You... really? Des X, Daddy is also Big Sis's Daddy. It's sad, but we're... Shut up! Daddy is my Daddy! He's mine and no one else's! Fuka! Desko and your stupid friends, you're all eyesores to me! Die! Huh? That 
That's the reason you killed me? Screw you! Seriously, you really pissed me off now! Daddy, Daddy! I have no idea what you find so great about that stupid old man! I'm gonna beat you up and put an end to your fantasies!
What are you? You're just a human. A dead one to be exact. Where is all this power coming from? Fuka? Damn! How did she power up like that? <laughs> it's no big deal. It's probably just an adrenaline rush or something. That's not important. I'm just really mad right now. You're mad? Please, there's no way I'll admit this defeat. <laughs> I still see the energy in her eyes, as expected from the true final boss. That's right. Until I kill every single one of you, I won't. I won't! Ah! Desex has begun to regenerate. I don't remember equipping her with that kind of function. This is amazing! You're amazing, Desex! Amazing? Do you even know why she's able to do this, Dad? No, not at all. You're so stupid, Dad! You might be a genius scientist, but you're the stupidest man ever! If you weren't like this, this wouldn't have happened! Desco wouldn't have been thrown out! I... I didn't have to die. So you finally admitted it! It's about time! Indeed, it's settled that you're a pretty. Shut up! That's not the point right now! I'm talking about Dad! After Mom died, you escaped into your work and left me all alone. You created Desco and Des X, but you ended up making them feel the same way I did. What are you doing, Dad? Don't you care about anything besides your research? Don't you ever think about our feelings? No, I... Big Sis, you don't understand? Daddy loves you. How can I believe that? Daddy talked about you all the time. Like how you wouldn't take baths with him anymore, how you treat his laundry like filthy objects, or how you stole money from him. Miss Desco, those are just simple complaints. Is there anything more heartwarming? Well, let me see. Oh, he bragged about how sweet you are at heart, even when you were in your rebellious stage in middle school. He still has the portrait of him that you drew when you were five. He even showed it to Desco. Daddy's favorite story of you was when you two went to a summer festival when you were only four years old. He had to look for you for hours because you got lost, but you had already gone home by yourself. But still, Daddy was so proud of you for that. He said that you were already an amazing child by the time you were four. Hmm. Not that I remember. Everything he does is for you, including his research. You're the only one who doesn't know that. No, you're lying. He focused on his research because he wanted to escape from everything after Mom died. That was what Mommy asked Daddy to do, to continue his research, to make your wish come true. My... wish? Uh-huh. Me, Desco, the demon clones, we were all created for you! That's how much Daddy loves you. No, that's not true. Des X is right, Big Sis. Daddy loves you. He loves you with all his heart. No way! I don't believe it! What's my wish anyway? I, I don't remember wanting this. You don't? Oh, you used to throw big tantrums about it. Mm, pestering me and Mom all the time. You said you wanted a little sister. Oh yeah, I did. But Mom died soon after that. Big sis. But seriously, you remembered that from so long ago? And created these little sisters for me, Dad? That's right, Fuka. I created Desco and Desex just for you. Thanks, Dad. The final weapons, Desco and Des X, were not created to destroy the human world after all. They were the fruition of a father's love for his daughter, to make her wish come true. All of the misunderstandings that had piled up were resolved, and the defeated Des X was finally released from her destiny to be the final boss of the human world. This battle 
where a pretty girl and the kinship between her family members had saved the human world and netherworld would lead to the improved printing treatment movement in the future, which eventually led to Printing War II. However, not being aware of future events, Fuka and her father simply enjoyed the reunion. They embraced each other, reaffirming their feelings of love and happiness. Not! You mad scientist! Oh, why not? I worked really hard for this. Did you really think I'd be happy to have these freaking killing machines as my little sisters? What the hell were you thinking? But, but, you're the one who wanted this. You said, I want a little sister. With advanced functionality, who is gonna help me take over the world? <laughs> so, you were trying to become a final boss for Fuka's sake, Desko? Yes, all is for big sis. And you're going to take over the world with Miss Fuka as the final boss? Yes! Desko was created to help Big Sis take over the world! Hmm. Now I'm concerned. They're lying! They're totally making things up right now! I, I even have proof! Like the Christmas video! <laughs> when you were five. No! This isn't... You're just all trying to... Tesco has seen that too! <laughs> Big Sis was so cute! Now I see. I didn't think you were normal, but I had no idea you possessed such ambition. It's only natural that you fell to Hades. <laughs> this is quite amusing. This isn't funny! No, no way! This can't be real! This is a dream! I know it! This is a nightmare! Enough fooling around, bastards! The hell's this farce? Fight, Desex! One more time! Kill them all! Then all of humanity! No way. This is getting kind of boring. Plus, I'll only listen to Daddy. Why didn't you do it yourself if you wanted so badly? You... Who do you think funded your development, you useless puppet? <laughs> He's showing his true nature. This farce suits you rather well. Judge Nemo! Your ambitions have been crushed! Your Hades of destruction will never happen! Huh. My ambitions have been crushed? <laughs> You've got it all wrong, Valvatores! I've been setting up devices everywhere to prepare for humanity's destruction for a long, long time. You guys have only awakened another dream! A nightmare of demolition! The destructive might of Hades! A nightmare of demolition? That's right! I'm lighting a giant firecracker! The big round moon is gonna go... Kaboom! An unbelievably shocking revelation is dropped on us after we suppressed a foolish rebellion in the human world. Is he really going to blow up the moon? The truth is! Did you know that various kinds of fish larvae are used in Chirimanjaco? I thought Chirimanjaco was the name of an actual fish! <laughs> and there's more! It's the same deal with Kamage Shirasu! Ah! I thought the same thing about Kamage Shirasu! That's right! Shirasu usually refers to any kind of fish larva, but the larva of Japanese anchovies are the most commonly eaten shirasu. Okay, so? Next time, final episode, the Sardine Galaxy. Space sardines conquer the sea of stars. It's another page in the history of sardines. I will stop the destruction of the moon. You're blowing up the moon? 
Are you serious? The moon? You mean, like the moon in the sky moon? Mm-hmm. The moon that orbits our planet. The moon is going to blow up? Oh no! We won't be able to admire it anymore! You bastard! How could you go after the moon of all things? So much hatred towards humans. Isn't there any way to stop him? Hey, wait. H how are you gonna do that? Shoot a nuclear missile up there? Who knows? I don't really know the details either. You don't know? Well, I thought you were orchestrating this. Unfortunately, no. I wish I could finish the job using the technology that the humans invented themselves. But the good doctor and Des X ended up being useless. So I decided to go with Plan B. So you're gonna blow up the moon using the technology outside of Earth? Aha! Uh -huh. You're gonna use angels this time, aren't you? Hmm. Desco senses the arrival of a new final boss. No matter what kind of power he's going to use, all life will be lost if the moon is destroyed. We can't let that happen. Yeah, this is serious. There are gonna be meteors falling from the sky, like in those disaster movies. Multiple tsunamis due to irregular tides and other abnormal phenomena from changes in our rotational energy. There won't be any chance for human survival. Oops. And the fear energy will be gone, along with the humans. So no more netherworld either. You sound like you're enjoying this. You're going to die too if that happens. Die? Hmm. I wonder if I really will. What do you mean by that? Don't you have a plan to survive your own disaster? I don't know. I might or I might not. Please, stop this. You've done enough. You're not going to please anyone by doing this. Huh? He's totally ignoring her. So he really can't hear the voice of an angel. Judge Nemo, I'll take this as a challenge. You've intentionally revealed your plan in the hopes that we'll stop you! Yep, that's exactly why I told you. Will you accept my challenge, Valvatores? Do I have a choice? So this is the kind of deal you struck with the President, eh? <laughs> Do you think it's unfair? No! This is how you try to get what you want, then do as you wish. I'll crush every attempt you make, and then I'll crush that grinning face! Ooh, nice. That makes me want to see your face contorted with pain. Sounds like we're running out of time. Let's go, everyone! Um, are we really going... Indeed! We are going to the moon! Final episode! The final battle! The moon, Earth, and the promise! Don't be so tense, Fenric. We will definitely stop the destruction of the moon, I promise. My lord. Plus, it's about time you started trusting the other members of the party. The only things I trust are my own abilities and my lord, Velvatores. I will trust nothing else, nor will I rely on them. This is the way of Fenric. Ah, you're right. Let's hurry. On to the moon! So, how do we get there? Shouldn't your dad be able to prepare a rocket or some kind of a space shuttle for us? This is the final battle! Desco wants something cooler, like a space battleship or, or a super robot! That would help a lot. It's not like there's just gonna be an old man and his bunnies waiting for us on the moon. Instead of wasting that kind of labor and money, I've already made a dimension tunnel to the moon. We'll simply need to talk to the dimension guide as usual. Then we'll instantly be on the moon. What? That's so not cool! Boring! Where's the fun in that? 
Shut up! I'll turn you into floating space debris if you keep whining, you damn lass! How could you speak like that to Big Sis? Desco will never forgive you! You should only say those things when you're not hiding behind your older sister. I'm just saying. Is it just me or is Benrick in a worse mood than usual? He might actually turn Buka into floating space debris. It's only natural. The werewolf's power source, the moon, is being threatened. That's not the only reason. The moon is the symbol of my loyalty to my lord. Those who try to taint such a thing must be abolished as quickly as possible. Oh my! Did you hear that, Miss Desco? Something about the moon being the symbol of his loyalty to his lord. I'm super curious! Desco is curious too, Big Sis. What about you, Miss Volcanus? Yep, yep. The truth about the relationship between those boys is about to be revealed. It's sending shivers down my spine. <laughs> Oh, Miss Volcanus, that's a little vulgar, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> you too, big sis, you're drooling! Now, as we promised last time, shall we continue to work together to discover the truth? <laughs> For all women like this? I'm never getting married. Emizo solemnly vowed to the moon.